Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about faith, hope, and makeup. In this video, we're going to be talking about how I did my hair, and if you are going to be doing any type of, like, bleaching, and you can't really afford to go to, like, the salon or, like, Sally's to get, like, the $80, $100 worth of, like, good bleach, um, here's, like, an alternative that I've been using for, like, 10 plus years my mom started doing it on me when I was younger and yeah it works and it really like lifts pretty much any color out of your hair and it doesn't really damage your hair as much as like other box dyes or anything like that so without further ado if you're interested in what I've said so far keep watching all right guys so as promised this is what I'm talking about it is the L'Oreal Paris Frost and Design um, if you're trying, they have two of them, and if you're trying to go for, like, a more, like, caramel color, like, a deeper, um, yellowy brown highlight, then go with the caramel one. And if you're going for more of, like, a platinum blonde, then you want to go with the champagne. So, basically, you can go to Sally's, like I said, and you can spend, like, 80 plus dollars, or you can go to the salon, and it can go anywhere from, I don't know, 200 and more. Um, now if you don't know what you're doing and whatnot, like, and you feel more comfortable with going to, like, the salon, then go ahead and do that. But this is only $10 at Walmart. If you have thicker hair, um, my hair is thick, but it's pretty short, so I only needed, like, one box just to do this. But if I were to do, like, my whole head, I'd probably need, like, two boxes, maybe three. Um, but yeah, so I'm basically going to walk you guys through, like, step by step how to do it. I'm not going to be doing it on my hair. Um, this is just, like, an example of what it can do. I've never done something like this with my hair, which is the blonde in the front. Um, but yeah. So basically, yeah, here's it. Cost costs $10, and the things that are inside of it, like, this is all the stuff that comes in it. So you can first choose if you want to highlight your hair or if you want to like section off a part and just like make that part blonde or like platinum or like that honey kind of caramel color that I was talking about. Um, but basically all you have to do, um, I'm basically making this video for a friend because um, she reached out to me. Hi Stephanie. Um, and she was just like, hey girl, like, how do I do this? And like, you know, cheaper way to how to do it. And I was like, I got you because like my mom has literally, I've been her test dummy since I was like, I don't even know, like 12, maybe 10. Um, yeah. So anyways, so basically you get a cream developer and then you get two packs of lightning powder. So they look like this. And then you get frosting protective cream and then you also get in the kit after frosting conditioning shampoo and then like this is like pretty much like a deal breaker why I keep going to um, the frost kit rather than like other dyes because I have gone like blonde um, with like other box dyes but it doesn't lift as well even if it says like the best lifting advanced formula like I have a lot of red in my hair and it just doesn't come out um but this is toner and it like it's purple toner and it's just like a rinse and you can leave it in your hair um like overnight until like after you do everything and it really works it really lightens and takes out like the orange and the brassy hues out of your hair and I can't find really any other system that, like, really does that besides, like, something you have to go outside of, like, the package that you already got. And you have to buy an expensive shampoo or conditioner or, like, go to Sally's and get, like, all these toners and stuff. So, I don't know. It's cool. It's only $10 and it comes with the toner. So, I thought that was pretty awesome. It also comes with, um, so you get this container and this is what you're going to mix it in. And I'll, like I said, I'll go step by step how to do it. Um, you get two of these. Basically, if you're going to do highlighting, um, these will help you pull through the cap. And here's the cap right here. Basically, it gets pretty fancy. So basically, you put it on, like you brush your hair. Um, my mom taught me that you should like brush your hair back 
when you do it. So you like you brush it back and then you tilt your head back. And then basically you put it on like this. And then you tie it underneath so it's like very tight. You don't want it loose and moving all around because once you pull it through, like if it's loose, it's just going to come back through and it's going to get really annoying, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Um, so yeah. And then if you look very closely, there's holes. And then if you look even closer, there's other holes. What I would suggest if you are going to highlight is pull through the circled holes and it'd be like a more even, not all over the place, just like a gradual highlight. And then, like I said, you have the plastic one and then you have the metal one. Um, the metal one is pretty good. The plastic one has this like steering spatula when you're mixing the ingredients. So yeah, and I'm going to do step by step. So basically what you want to do, be careful because this isn't good to like breathe in. My hair is like all over the place now. Um, so you carefully cut them open and then you pour the contents in here. And then next you want to take your cream developer. It's like that. And then you empty all that in here. And then you take your frosting protective cream, looks like that, and then you put that in there and then you take that spatula or any like steering thing. The metal one really isn't good for like steering because what you don't want is like I said, there's powder, right? So like just as like baking or anything, um, like cakes, you don't want like, um, like little chunks of the powder in there. So you want to make sure that you get this very like fluffy um I don't know this flush fluffy mixture going like you don't want any chunks like I said of just like dry um powder yeah and then basically after if you're gonna do the cap you pull it all through and then you want to brush your hair um when you are done pulling like all of the circles my tip is that you have somebody else pull it through um, you don't want to pull too much and you don't want to pull like so little, but also like it's whatever you want. If you like thicker highlights, then go ahead and do thicker highlights, girl. If you like thinner ones, then do thinner ones. It's all up to you and like, yeah, it's fun. Um, but like I said, it, it's very time consuming. So you want to, I would suggest have having somebody else help you because you're going to get like a really bad arm cramp and everything else if you try to do it by yourself. I have very thick hair and I did it when my hair was longer and it took me like three hours, three, four hours just to pull it through just the circled one. So yeah, I wouldn't suggest that, um, doing it by yourself. <laughs> oh, I will say, um, like I just did this and this is my best friend's kit. We're probably going to highlight her hair or something like that, but I will say guys, when you go and you can get this at Walmart, you can get it at Target, you can get it at Fred Meyers, pretty much like any grocery store, um, any beauty store like Rite Aid, um, Walgreens, um, they usually have it, but Walgreens and Rite Aid are more expensive, so you'll end up paying like $15, uh, maybe a little less, but if you go to Walmart, they have it for like 9 something $10, so I always go there. Um, make sure you... So here are some disclaimers. Make sure you pay attention to what color the box is. So there's different ones. So you want to get the purple one. And I think that one means that it has toner in it. I don't know. My mom always like drills it in my head. Make sure you get the purple one. Make sure you get the purple one. Um, so thank you mom for that. But also make sure that you pay attention to the color. So like I said, this one's champagne. Whatever one you want, just make sure you're getting the one that you want. Now, a big one is especially like if you go to Walmart, you want to make sure that the box is sealed. So mine, the one that I use, this one's my best friend's and I did open it. So that's why it's not sealed anymore, but there should be a piece of tape like sealing it so it can't like come out. So the thing is, is people go to Walmart or wherever and they're like want to highlight their hair and they know that these comes with caps like these. Um, so they steal those. Um, from Walmart and other places they just go in here very carefully and they steal these or the spatula thing um yeah and I kind of knew it when I picked it up but I forgot um because I wasn't using the cap that time to look for the cap and when I got home started thinking about it and I was like oh yeah mine didn't have the cap in it and I was right like it was tampered with so in short just make sure yours is taped and if you feel like anything is going on with it make sure that it has the cap if that's what you're really looking for 
and basically everything in it. If you're curious and you forget, like after watching this video, what is inside of the box, then you can always um, open the instructions and it will show you step by step um, basically like what to put together, like how to mix it all up. And also it comes with gloves. It only comes with two and they're pretty nice, but I will say that this formula, when it is mixed together, it acts like bleach. So basically like you want to make sure that, um, you wash your hands or like wipe it off of your clothes because it will dye it, um, if it gets on there. And also like around like your scalp and stuff mine was like very sensitive and i actually end up dying like a little bit of like my eyebrow like i wipe i wiped it off but i guess not, like not in time because it like died a little bit of it so like i don't know now i just put like eyebrow like gel stuff and you can't really tell but like i ended up dying my eyebrows when i did it accidentally so yeah um what else I will say too, you want to do it like basically when your hair is like dirty almost, when it's like greasy, kind of grimy feeling because, um, I don't know, it's just like a, a good thing to think of. Like you don't want your hair to get so damaged so you want to make sure there's like extra oils and, and all of that in your hair. Um, yeah. Okay. So the, the good thing with this, um as opposed to like other um, bleaching box dyes and like other bleach. This one has a time mode at the bottom just as every other one does, but this one you can actually leave in longer in your hair so it like lifts, um, has the chance to lift longer. So basically if you have light to dark blonde, um, 20 to 30 minutes of lifting time or to get it to its like blondest basically like my my roots yeah um and then if you have dark to darkest brown 35 to 50 minutes and basically like a rule of thumb for me is like you kind of test the elasticity of your hair and if it's like feeling like like it could break or it, like kind of gummy then you want to take it out of your hair almost immediately after that um but you kind of just watch your hair but I know other ones like you can't leave like bleaching your hair too long and then you got to like wait a little bit and then like dye it again and then tone it a whole bunch and it's just like this long drawn out process but this one I just feel like I get the best results in like the least amount of time. So one more pointer that I will add in here and I forgot it does come with this and basically you take it out and what it is is like if you've dyed your hair before, you know about putting like grocery bags on like your head to kind of like contain the heat in your hair. It does come with one of those. Um, one thing that my mom has taught me that really like I feel like changes um, or kind of lifts the color like a lot better is basically putting this on your hair and kind of just going like this with a hair dryer like midway through and then taking this off and running hot water through it. Um, with gloves on of course and then putting this back on and you can also go over it with a hairdryer and I think honestly it, it just allows it to develop and lift like whatever color is on your hair to whatever desired color that you want. Um, I've done it many times and that's just what my mom has always done. Um, yeah so I hope that last tip helped you guys and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching like and subscribe and leave comments down below and I'll get back to you guys all right bye love you